Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your end of February love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome or returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, this is a reading for a love connection. So you have to have an actual connection you believe you have with somebody. So you have to at least know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. So we'll see uh, what the energy is. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus if you have Sagittarius in any of those placements doesn't have to be all of them in your chart. There's a link below uh, if you'd like to get your free birth chart, if you're not sure about your uh, chart at all. All right, Sagittarius. So let's see what's going on with you uh, in love at this time. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box for your general and love playlist. If you'd like to go check that out as well as, as well as the decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below in the description box. And I'll also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. So I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in everybody. Hope everybody had, um, well, this will be out before Valentine's Day. So, so we'll see what we have for Sagittarius at this time in love. Or this is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. As with any reading, only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If this is not pertaining to you or you feel like it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. It's probably just not your reading this time. Hold out for future readings, or like I said, you can go back, if, especially if you're new, and watch uh, past readings if you like to. All right, Sagittarius. What do we have with Sagittarius at this time in love? Who may they be dealing with? What kind of energy? Spirit, please. Can we get a card feeling that one? Sagittarius. Jupiter, well, that's your own energy. Are you in love with yourself <laughs> for the month, for the end of February at this time? That's Sagittarius on Sagittarius. Or you could be dealing with another Sagittarius, or maybe you have... Sagittarius and maybe it's in your Jupiter uh, or you maybe you just have a lot of Sag in your chart I don't know but um, Jupiter is this is the planet of Sagittarius and that's funny because Jupiter is 18 which is 9 and you're 9 Sagittarius there so Jupiter is about luck expansion faith optimism spirituality joy and prosperity so a lot of positive energy with the Jupiter energy so we'll see how that plays in um, you may be just concentrating on you and not really interested in love. It's kind of the energy I'm getting. I don't know. We'll see. We we'll, shall see, Sagittarius. So if you are thinking, obviously, if you're watching this, then you have somebody in mind. <laughs> so whoever you're thinking about at this time, you know, whoever you believe you may have a connection with of some kind, we're going to see what's going on here. So the first thing I'm going to do, Sagittarius, is get sort of like an overall energy between uh, you and whoever you're thinking about that thinking about at this time Sagittarius so let's get an opening energy for Sagittarius whoever they're thinking about at this time whoever they're watching uh, whoever they're watching this reading for if I can speak tonight at this time spirit please thank you so much feeling that one we get joy and stability. This is the four of wands. This is the twin flame card, but it doesn't have to be. But this is joy, stability in your foundation, your home life. So you're having some sort of joy and stability. It's either just on your own, becoming stable, becoming happy once again in your own right, in your own life, in your home life. It could be just on your own right now. Um, or you could be thinking of somebody who could possibly be, and this is kind of reminds me of ascension, like enlightenment. So you could be becoming, and I think I had that um, in one of your past readings about be ascending and becoming enlightened to uh, the energy of like a soulmate twin flame energy. And this is kind of like the same um, energy here. This is the four of wands, which to me is the twin flame card. All right, so, and that reminds me of the sun. For some reason. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, so Sagittarius, I'm gonna put you on this side, whoever you're thinking of on this side. 
I'm going to pull one for both of your energies, how you're thinking and feeling about each other and the connection. And then we'll clarify those energies with more uh, tarot here. And then we'll look at the actual connection, what's going on. And then we'll get advice for the connection, possible outcome of the connection. And then we'll use the angel answers at the end to get more messages at the end. So, but if at any time, that's too many. I did see the Ace of Cups there. So we're going to in love, perhaps. Um, if at any time you feel like the energies are reversed, then please switch and flip-flop the energies all throughout this reading. All right. So feeling that is you. That's too many. Let's get one for your person. Oh, I guess that's... Well, your person's feeling alone. Whoever uh, you're thinking of at this time, they have the Five of Pentacles energy. So let's see what kind of energy... You're not going to believe this. <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Ace of Cups. And that just flipped in my hand. You saw me... Put, I put it back in the deck and I shuffled it back in, out in... And it came back out. I pulled it back out. So, and I didn't know that was there. So you're in the energy of wanting a brand beginning in love. And but like I said, if that if you feel like that's not you, um, then it could be a person. But I'm gonna call this side you. People are getting confused because they say I say that person, this side, that side. People get confused. So this is you, and that's your person. So, or you could switch it and whatever. So this is you. So this is a brand new beginning in love. Love abounds. Emotions and feelings overflowing. And again, I'm getting like that ascension energy here. Kind of like your third eye, your intuition becoming uh, awakened here. Wow. But your person here is feeling alone, lonely, left out in the cold, abandoned. So maybe you're not telling this person that you are in this energy of feeling some, some sort of love or emotions for this person kind of want this new beginning in love, but they may not know that how that's how you're feeling because they feel lonely. And I feel like they're getting ready to turn their back on this. Maybe they've been waiting. Um, maybe they're tired of waiting or maybe um, they're just not seeing it happen. So I get they're feeling tired or feeling alone. So they may be turning their back and they may be like in the hermit energy also, because it does remind me of the hermit energy because you usually see the hermit energy um, holding the lantern up. So they may be like deep thinking about this, like, you know, what's going on? I don't know what's going on with this person, how they feel, but yet you have the Ace of Cups here. So that's a divinely guided brain of beginning in love. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wow. <laughs> the magician would manifest. This is manifesting a brand new beginning. So... If this is you, Sagittarius, and you're like in this energy, okay, I'm ready to manifest this brand new beginning in love with this person, but not telling them, they're getting ready to turn their back and walk away from this because they just don't know how you feel. Wow, Sagittarius. Maybe time to uh, man up here and um, grow up here and speak up. <laughs> just being honest. All right, so I just want to say... Um, a quick thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped, donated, send, sent a gift. I truly, truly do appreciate all your support. Really means a lot to me and supporting the channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so what is this Ace of Cups about for Sagittarius? I just heard the Ace of Cups again. So if we get the Ace of Cups, I'm the Ace of Cups. All right, so why is Sagittarius in the Ace of Cups energy? The chariot, really. So you're like wanting to, wanting to uh, move, drive this forward. Like you're ready. It's like, I'm ready to manifest this, get in my chariot here, my car, and go drive towards this person. And I'm ready to manifest this forward. This is about success, um, victory, balance, moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition, go-getter kind of energy. Oh, wow. Okay. What else here? Three of Pentacles. So, but Three of Pentacles are slow. But it says works. So you could have met this person at work or in a work environment. Um, and this is an energy of works, Three of Pentacles of like working on it together. 
So it's kind of like you want to work on it together. You're ready to drive drive it forward. You're ready to manifest this brand new beginning in love. You got two ones here of brand new beginnings in love. I feel like you're really in your energy or you're getting in your energy, your power, your ascending, you're getting spiritual enlightenment, or you're really listening to your gut, your intuition, finally getting to tune in touch um, in this energy expansion. So yeah, and having faith, hope, optimism. So, you know, you could be finally getting into that energy and you're feeling more stable here. And again, that reminds me of the sun. And that is my uh, twin flame card. Wow. So it's like <laughs> you're wanting to work with this person, work it out. Can we work this out? But your person's feeling alone. It's like you want to rush it far, but yet you want to take, take, it's like, I feel like you want to rush into this person and say, okay, I'm ready to manifest this forward, but yet I want to take it slow and work on it slowly, see where it goes, see what it is, blow, you know, the whole thing, like, you know, just of taking it slow kind of energy. So your person's feeling alone. Okay. Yeah. So we have the moon and we have the two of cups. So they're, they're wanting this too, whoever, you know, you're thinking of, but they got the moon energy. So they don't know what's going on because we got the moon here and this person is in the dark looking at the moon. So, and the moon energy can be about not seeing things clearly, uh, not seeing the way, the path. Uh, it can be about very deep feelings. So I feel like this person does have deep feelings for you, but they not seeing clearly. They don't know what's going on with the moon because you can't see everything clearly under the moonlight. Only the sun, and I feel like that's the sun. Um, you can see everything clearly. So they don't know. It's like they're looking down and you see these two I think there are wolves here. So she's looking down at the two wolves. And then we got the two of cups over here. And these wolves are separated. And then you got the two fish here swimming around. So, oh, wow. So, yeah, they want it too. But <clears throat> they uh, just, they don't know how you feel. You could be uh, very secretive or just not expressing how you feel. So they don't know with that moon energy because you just don't know everything. So they don't know. They just don't know. They're looking, <laughs> they're looking down the path, but they can't see it because it's dark. But they're sitting in the two of cups, and that's soulmate, soulmate love, soulmate union. So, and you got uh, the ace of cups, which is about soulmate love, also. So let's see what the actual situation is. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. So this is total wealth, abundance, growth, prosperity. It's usually the marriage card um, or commitment card or the sharing of everything together. Legacy, dynamic, long-term kind of um, energy. Or it could just be about uh, wealth, abundance, prosperity, and career and finance. Let's see what else do we have? Well, we got your energy now coming up, Sagittarius, with the Wheel of Fortune. So, wow. So this could be about money and finance because the Wheel of Fortune can be about money coming in of some kind. Or, you know, finance is getting better. There's also uh, fate, destiny, divine timing, um, something coming in meant to be. So you may have some, you could be getting like a raise or a promotion or a new job or something here that's divinely guided for you. And it's going to give you the Ten of Pentacles. It's going to make, you'll be more successful. You have more money. Uh finances will be better but the wheel of fortune is also fate destiny divine timing things going in a better direction but then we get the nine of swords energy here so stress worry and anxiety is sitting right in the middle of the spread connecting both your energy so you both feel stress worry anxiety about this connection it's like you want to drive it forward you're ready to move into it and work on it slowly see where it goes where it leads but there's definitely love and emotions between the two of you but you're stressed about how to do that. And they're worried and stressed that, is this the end? Is it over? You know, is this going to go anywhere? Not knowing because you're not communicating, I feel. And so there's just uh, <laughs> both having stress, fear, worry, anxiety, nervous energy. So we have the Princess of Swords here, which is the Page of Swords. So that's... Uh, Honest, truthful communication. So yeah, this person definitely wants honest communication from you. This can also be the energy of like keeping tabs of each other online. So that could be going on here too. 
um, trying to learn new things, trying to find out what's going on. But again, this person, again, has the sword up. So they don't know whether or not to just cut this tie altogether and just walk away from it with that sword. Unless some sort of honest communication comes in about this. And it's too bad because I do see heavy soulmate energy here. Twin flames. I mean, come on now. All right. So let's get one more for the situation. Now we got the Prince of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords. Now the Knight of Swords, you know, can rush in, cause, you know, havoc, trouble, chaos. Uh, not, you know, on purpose. It's just their energy. Uh, they don't think clearly or think things out thoroughly first before taking action. So it kind of like backfires on them. So it's kind of like a rebel kind of energy. So it's either this person wants you to rush in with communication because they're really thinking about walking away and just cutting these ties. But I don't think they want to do that. But you both are stressed and worried about this connection. Like, <laughs> But the Divine Wheel of Fortune is here to say that this is something meant to be here between the two of you with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh boy. So let's see... I don't feel like your person's going to rush into you. I mean, they could with the Prince of Swords, the Knight of Swords, a very fast-paced energy. I feel like they're waiting and turning their back, kind of. I don't think they are. I think they're waiting for you to rush in with some sort of truth and clarity. But I think you're too up in your head and stressed about it and nervous about it. But though you're sitting in the energy of wanting to manifest this brand new beginning in love and take it slow, but yet not taking action for some reason because oh, you're stressed out about it nervous about it all right so let's get advice for you Sagittarius in this connection advice for you or for the connection so we have the seven of wands so this could be about um, being defensive on guard or fighting for something or not giving up and keep fighting on that's that fire energy Three of Swords. So this is heartache, pain, sorrow, hurt. <sighs> okay. And, you know, the Seven of Wands can also be defensive. So maybe you're defensive because, you know, you've ha had heartbreak and sorrow in the past. So you're a little, you know, nervous and stressed about something new here. Being a little defensive and on guard about it. Although you definitely have a lot of feelings and emotions for this person. Eight of Swords, yeah, and I just said all up in your head, and here's the Eight of Swords. <laughs> oh, here's the Eight of Swords. All mental blockage, can't get out of your own way. And this woman, um, she can, like, break free of those swords. She's not really trapped in there. And those little itty-bitty strings, she can pick up a sword and cut them all. So it's like being trapped of your own doing, but you can get out of that energy. All right, so what else here? The King of Wands. So there you are. There's your energy. There you are. So, and I see this King of Wands charging in this direction towards all this energy with that torch with the flame lit. So you can burn through all this energy if you choose to. You can, you know, you can uh, burn down those cords here. Cut through those uh, mental blockages. So this is telling you to get in your power, your king of wands energy, that go-getter, uh, fiery, passionate kind of energy, and break through this mental entrapment and this defensiveness, and kind of just mow it all down, get over it, <laughs> and, you know, the king of wands goes after what they want, so you can go after what you want if you can get out of uh, this energy. All right, so let's see what the outcome, possible outcome of this connection could be. Sagittarius at this time. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Eight of Cups. So this is an energy of walking away from something no longer fulfilling, or you can walk to something more fulfilling. So we'll see where this goes. So I don't know, are you just going to walk away from this connection also, or are you going to walk to this connection well, you might walk to it because now we have the Ten of Cups. So 
that's happiness, joy, emotional fulfillment, love, fulfillment and love and emotions and everything um, in every single way. Happiness and joy. Love and abundance. So you may be walking to your Ten of Cups here. Okay, what else? And now we have the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. So this could be expressions of love, like, you know, walking walking to this person. You could be walking away from things that were no longer fulfilling for you. That's why you have sorrow there. But now you're walking to your Ten of Cups. And now with the Page of Cups, this could be apologies. This could be sharing of love and emotions of some kind. Love offer. Wow. Sagittarius. And on the bottom, we have the Empress. Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. So this is knowing your value, your worth. The Empress is always the birth of something new. Um, it's You just see somebody pregnant there. So um, somebody could have children here. But I'm seeing two little rabbits there. So somebody could have two children. Um, but, you know, like I said, the Empress gives birth to new things. Um, it's growth, abundance. And then we have the sun. And did I not just say... That reminded me of the sun. So you may see somebody in like the sun energy who is like Empress quality. They know your they know their value, their worth. They're stable. They're grounded. This is sun is the best card in the tarot. Success, victory, happiness, uh, joy, enlightenment, healing energy, success, victory, happy home and family. You see like the two soulmates together there. This is also a twin flame card. But we have the Hermit here, so needing to think about things here for a while. Again, Six of Cups, soulmate energy. Or someone you've known for the, from the past or for a long time. If not, you could have had past lives with this person. We're getting maybe even up to six, five or six lives, past lives. But definitely uh, soulmate, again, energy here. So... Yep, so that's what I'm getting with that. So... Let's see, we have Virgo, we have Leo, the Empress here is, I think, uh, Libra and Taurus, and then we do have uh, Cancer Pisces, your energy here, Sagittarius, that is also Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Aries, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, so those are the major signs I see. <clears throat> so, I think, Sagittarius, you better go after this person before they totally walk away and decide just to cut off this connection. I feel like maybe you have been, I mean, with the Princess of Swords there, that also can be online communication. So, you know, maybe you have been communicating um, a little bit online somehow or something like that. Um, but, and I do see interference here. So... I mean, that's the Eight of Swords, so that's usually mental blockage, but maybe also there could be some sort of outer interference that's uh, keeping you from moving towards this person for some reason. It, you know, the Three of Swords can indicate like a third person or a person, place, or thing. So there could be some sort of other energy, person, place, thing, situation, whatever here that's interfering, that's not allowing you to move forward. Maybe you're defending yourself against that energy also while you're walking away from it. But um, your Ten of Cups is here offering that love. That, that's a possible outcome here. So I do have heavy soulmate twin flame energy here for you. I kind of feel like Leo twice because like I said, it's a four of wands. That is fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. But that middle there just is like reminding me of the sun. And then we did have the sun under there. So... That's double Leo, so you could be dealing with a Leo. So let's get some messages from this deck. And I do ask Sagittarius, if you are new, um, you could check out my channel. If you like what you see, You please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. Get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's get some. Okay, well, I guess that's your message. And why is my camera blurry? We got two. Let me see. See if I can unblur it. So you may not be thinking clearly because it's, I could tell it's blurry. Okay. 
So we have get more information. So that could be the spying online looking at each other here with the get more information. <laughs> like I said, come on, why are we blurry? Yeah, people aren't seeing things clearly right now. Sorry about that. I hope it clears up. And then we have forgiveness. So you may be asking for forgiveness, giving forgiveness uh, from the, this person for some reason. So we do have forgiveness there. Maybe apologizing and asking them to forgive you for not expressing how you truly felt from the beginning um, kind of energy. Okay, that's annoying me. Why is that blurry? Okay, let's get a few more here for you, Sagittarius. Don't stop. So, hey, I'm just trying to unblur this. So we have don't stop. So whatever here, whatever you're thinking of doing or wanting to do here with this connection, it's telling you not to stop. So don't stop. And then let's get another one. And success. So yeah, I do see this a very successful uh, soulmate twin flame connection here. If I feel like this person's waiting for you, if you can communicate with this person. And then we have ask your angels. So again, I feel like, again, with that joint stability, it reminds me of Ascension. So you may be really, really um, asking the universe here um, about this connection to help you, guide you, lead you in the right direction. So really pay attention to that energy here also and listen to your gut and your intuition kind of energy also. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm sorry that's blurry. Let's see. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.